Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. So welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. So if you remember, a couple of days ago, I brought you a story on Sule Ali Montari. He is looking to join the Premier Soccer League, the list of clubs, but it includes a Kaiser Chiefs, and I'll be giving you reasons why he chose that. I'll also be talking to you about Basel Desai. He says rotation of the heads of Ghana football will be integral to getting things working smoothly. We all know what happened in 2018, June 6th to be exact. Anna's expose showed that Kwesi Nyantechi had been at the helm for far too long than was necessary and that made him power drunk. He was let go of that position because of corruption charges and he was caught on camera taking bribes and so many other things. He says a rotation of the heads is very very important to getting things working smoothly in Ghana football. I was also going to talk about Ghanaian player, former Black Stars player Eric Addo. He has been named as the coach of the PSV under 21 side. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So I'll just jump right into it. And you know, I brought you the story about Sule Muntari. Now, Sule Muntari was formerly with the Ghana Black Stars squad, a very integral member of the Ghana Black Stars squad. And he led us to our very first World Cup, part of the squad that was at the very first World Cup in 2006. He has had an amazing career that spans leagues across the world with Portsmouth. He has played in Sunderland and he has also played for Inter Milan and AC Milan. Recently, he played for Abesete Balompié in Spain. But that spell came to an end and he came back into the country Ghana here and has been training with Liberty Professionals since. Now, Sule Montari, I brought you a couple of weeks ago, and his agents are looking to join the PSL, that's the South African League. After the reports came out earlier, they wanted he wanted to end his career with Accra Hearts of Hope. With the Ghana League cancelled and the date of resumption not yet clear, that is the next step for Sule Montari. And the list of clubs he has are named are Kaiser Chiefs, Mamolodi Sundowns, and Orlando Pirates. Now, the since leaving a second division of the Balompia at the end of the season, the former Ghana international has been clubless. Now, the former Inter Milan midfielder says he's open to playing in the Premier Soccer League and would, and would choose Kaiser Chiefs over Orlando Pirates and Mamolodi Sundowns if an opportunity arises. Now, Montari says he has alerted a South African agent who contacted him about the possibility of playing PSL football that Chiefs would be his first choice, although he is yet to make up his mind. Describing Chiefs as his favorite club in South Africa, the ex-AC Milan man is currently a free agent, said he's closely following them. I spoke to an agent, he gave me a call, I have forgotten his name, Sifu, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Montari told Marawa Sports Worldwide. I would love to come and play in South Africa because they have great teams that I like. For instance, Sundowns are there, Pirates are there, but my favorites are Kaiser Chiefs. I don't know why, but I have been following Chiefs for a moment now. I love the way they are and everything. So I said I am going to South Africa. There is the only team I want to play for and that is Chiefs. And with that, and with all due respect to Pirates and Sundowns and the other teams that are in South African League, of course, this is what I prefer. So that's the only plan that is what I speak about with the agent. That's it and I haven't said anything more. But why not? It's home. Ghana is home. South Africa can be home. Any part of Africa can be home. It would be good to come to South Africa, but I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know how much time I have to make the decision. I also need to discuss it with my family because now I have two little kids. So for me being around them is important to see them growing up. I have one boy, he is five, he has to go to school and everything. After leaving Abesete, Montari has been in Ghana and has been training with Liberty Professionals before the COVID-19 brought a halt to football. So there you have it, Kaiser Chiefs is his preferred option. With all due respect to Mamalodi Sundowns and the likes, he says Kaiser Chiefs, he has been following them for a while now 
and he is interested in a possible moves to the any Kaiser Chiefs fans in the comments let me know what you think about the possible move of Suleiman Tari joining Kaiser Chiefs in this transfer window coming up in the summer let me know what you think in the comments box i move on to my next story it has to do with Ghanaian player former black stars player i have to say eric ado now eric ado was in the black star squad that made it for the first time into the world cup in 2006. today eric ado has been named as the Eindhoven under fc Eindhoven major and we want to congratulate him immensely for such an amazing achievements now ericardo the former black star defender has been named as the under 21 team coach of dutch side fc eindhoven now ado who retired at psv on april 1st 2012 was recently appointed to the technical bench of the youth team after he acquired his uefa coaching license now the ex Ghana international is expected to use his huge experience to help develop many greats from the youth team as FC Eindhoven seek to rub shoulders with glamorous city rivals PSV Eindhoven in the next few days. Now, a member of Ghana's 2006 World Cup team, Ado has a huge reputation in the Netherlands after a successful career with PSV and Roja JC, currently the only African coach on the bench of the youth team of the Dutch side, and his performance will go a long way to open doors for black coaches in the diaspora. Ado started his uh, career with Club Rouge in Belgium and had an opportunity to represent Belgium at the international level, but he declined that chance and opted to represent Ghana. In all, he made 45 appearances for the Ghana Black Stars between 1998 to 2010 and appeared in two AFCON tournaments, 98 and 2008, as well as the 2006 World Cup in Germany. So Eric Ado there making waves SV FC Eindhoven under 21 coach kudos to him congratulations to Ericardo do you remember Ericardo when he was playing for the Black Stars what are your fondest memories of Ericardo kudos to him once again to my final story it has to do with a Ghanaian another Ghanaian player Marcel Desai Marcel Desai won the World Cup with France in 1998 and has been speaking on football in Ghana here since his arrival in the country he has spoken about the need for rotation of the heads of Ghana football. We all know what happened with Kwesi Nyanteji in that Anas expose, where he was exposed bitterly because of his greed and because he had been power drunk, because he had been in power for so long that he thought that he was entitled to the position till eternity. Well, his cap was full eventually and mismanagement that he left behind we are suffering the ripple effect. He says that Kwesing Antichi and the likes because of scenarios like this, we need to rotate their heads. Nyantichi did an amazing job at the beginning. He was at one point considered to be the one who would be the first ever African to be FIFA president. Yes, he was on that path. But because of monopoly and greed and wanting to be at the helm for so long, he forgot what put him there in the first place and lost track of everything. In that light, Desai says rotation is integral. Now, Marcel Desai says rotation of heads is integral for effective growth of the Ghana football. Now, the former France World Cup winner and captain Marcel Desai says preventing people from overstaying in the office is key to progress in football in the country. Now, the GFA president from 2005 to 2008 was run by former boss Kwesi Nyantichi until he was forced to step down following the Anas expose. According to Desai, rotating leadership at the top of the FA is key to the development of football in Ghana. This is what he said. First of all, not to allow someone to take hostage of the Ghana Federation and of Ghana football. Kwesi Nyantichi had been at the football for far too long. Since 2006, I think when he came into the system until the recent move by Anas. So now we have somebody new in the system. I think we should we should have two or three terms and finish his work and moves and have someone else to bring in a new set of ideas to help improve the game. And I couldn't agree anymore with Marcel Desai on this assertion here. It is necessary to have things rotated 
at the top and it is very integral to have that in place because someone can get power drunk and get carried away about being at the helm for far too long so that has been it for today i've been talking to you about Sudan Muntari's preference for the PSL he says it is Kaiser Chiefs also Ericardo FC Eindhoven and coach and Marcel Desai says we should be rotating things at the top of affairs in the Ghana football and prevent something like what happened with Kwesi Anyantiji ever repeating itself so I'll end with giving you the draw of the UEFA Champions League that was done earlier today now Real Madrid will face Man- Real Madrid or Manchester City will face Barcelona or Lyon in the quarterfinal RB Leipzig will face Atletico Madrid after Atletico Madrid removed Tottenham after Atletico Madrid beat Liverpool and RB Leipzig beat Tottenham. FC Sassuolo or FC Barcelona will face either Chelsea or Bayern Munich. Remember the first leg Bayern are leading Chelsea 3-0, three away goals. FC Sassuolo and Barcelona 1-1. Atalanta will play PSG in the next quarter-final game and the fixtures will take place in august the draw was held today amazingly juicy fixtures look forward to potentially real madrid will be facing juventus cristiano ronaldo could be locking horns with his former club once again let me know your thoughts on everything i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have an amazing weekend